Hi Cancer, thanks for checking out your March general video. So um, we're going to look at generally how you're feeling overall in March, what your goals are, what your vibes are, what kind of vibes you're putting out, like what's the general feel. We're going to look specifically at areas of finance. Um, your energies challenges goals again, your love life if you're single, and then also if you're coupled. We're going to look at your personal development or kind of your emotions for the month. And then I'm going to give you a crystal of the month as well. So it's for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Personally, I think the Moon sign is going to resonate the best because I always get that question. I like to let you know. Um, there's a link in the description box below that will tell you what your Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, all that stuff is. And... We're going to go ahead and get started in just one second. But I forgot to mention in all of the other videos that um, every month until I get sick of doing it, I'm going to give away a free 20-minute video reading. Um, so you can, you just go to the website and you sign up to enter to win one time and then you're automatically entered until I quit doing these. I think sometimes um, people who really, really need a private or a personal reading, um, perhaps what they need a reading on is finances and they can't afford it. So um, I want to put that in there for you guys. So let's get started. Okay, Cancer March. What's going on with you in general? What's the overall feeling? And they're saying you might be feeling like emotionally imbalanced and sort of hopeless. Now this makes sense because if you watch the March What the Fuck Astrology video um, that I put into the March playlist, there's a lot of Pisces in like everything. It's a Virgo full moon. March 1st when I'm making this I'll probably post it March 2nd in the morning but um basically Virgo's in the moon but it's Pisces and like everything else and so it's a very emotional time it's a very intuitive time you're going to be able to kind of sort things out and go with your gut instincts but you might have emotions that are going this way, then this way, then this way, then this way. And so that's not very surprising to me. What kind of vibes are you putting out? And they say that you're committed. You're super committed. Um, you follow through on promises, on contracts, things like that. But you are putting out kind of a sad vibe. Um, so how can we change that? And they're saying... Realizing that you're actually not alone, that people are around to help you. This is a common thing for cancers lately. You have to be open to receive um, guidance, assistance, help from other people. You're giving, 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 but you're not uh, necessarily open to receive from other people. And so what they're saying is you're not surrendering and you're not releasing the need to control things. Um, you are a helper, and that's why people love you. You are so sweet and compassionate and kind, but you also have to kind of relinquish control and allow other people to assist you, and then also to kind of just like go with the flow. You can't control everything. I, th I think it was Pisces who also had that similar message, so it might be a recurring theme for water signs this month because there is so much water astrologically going on. So your advice with this is to face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you'll come out of this ahead. You're going to come out of this victorious, okay? Um, so your stubbornness does serve you in a certain way, but allow other people to help you. Now let's get down to the specifics. Financially, what's the deal? They're saying um, that's probably where a lot of this stress is coming from. It's like all of a sudden, what the fuck with my finances? <laughs> like, I don't even know how this happened. Like, I can't seem to generate more money. I can't seem to save more money. Ah, so what is the challenge for you? And they say um, to feel comfortable with the emotions that are occurring as a result of maybe some potential um, financial mishaps, understanding that they're temporary. It says it will be a slow climb back, or at least it'll feel that way, but the anxiety and stuff that you have is not necessarily going to help you. So what will help you? And they say um, making tough decisions that you know are for your highest good. You know, maybe you donate a certain amount of money to a charity every month, and you're like, eh, I gotta 
stop doing that for a while. Maybe you've got to, um, you know, cut off your Netflix subscription or something. It'll be painful for a little bit, but it is for your highest good. That's sort of an energy. What other kind of guidance do we have? And they're saying this is a time to go on a new adventure, a new financial adventure <laughs> indeed, <laughs> to turn that energy around um, so that you're not feeling so, so hopeless. They're saying, again, this message of being open to receive the blessings of the universe of other people. If somebody's trying to give you money because they know that you're going through a little bit of a hardship, you know, you say, oh, no, 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 that's okay. It'll all work itself out because it has historically. Um, yeah, it absolutely will work itself out, but you need to be open to receive. That's the message message for you this month. And as I'm saying that, we're at five minutes and 15 seconds into the video recording that I'm making for you. And that's a number message. Five is like letting go of the past, right? To welcome new blessings. One is starting a new way, okay? Walking through a new door in which you can further eliminate things that no longer serve you. Like, um, it's not saying you shouldn't be as independent as you are. Um, it's not encouraging codependent relationships. It's not encouraging you to be a gold digger, okay? But you're honoring yourself when you say yes to assistance, and you're also honoring the other person who's offering it. It's not like you're going out, like, you know, begging people to give you things. If they are offering it to you, say yes and say thank you and move on. This is going to bring more balance into your life. And, um... Some of you just have like this blockage where you feel guilt associated to receiving and that's something we have to clear away. And like I said, if you haven't seen that March video, it's probably something you want to watch because the entire month of March is going to throw stuff at us in order to help us identify what it is we need to release. And it's clearly what you need to release, okay? So that's your finances. Looking at your love life. Cancer singles, what's up? They're like, no drama here. You're getting focused on what you want in regards to love. You definitely don't want that codependent, toxic, abusive relationship. And you're very well aware of that. You're clear with the warning signs. Um, you're very strong on your own, very independent. You have tact in your communication. Um, so that should be helping you to find the right person. You're, you've grown into this place of like having enough confidence to attract the right person and to be um, to very much affirm what you will stand for to create boundaries and what you won't. What it's saying is again though needing to release <laughs> control um, is going to be an issue in what regard? <sighs> in regards to the way you're feeling. So here's something that's happening potentially. You meet somebody okay and you instantly like them. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm afraid of how much I like them. So then maybe you put a little bit of a wall up. You distance yourself a little bit. Maybe you're not as kind and open and loving um, with this person because you're afraid that they will hurt you. Okay? That's not going to serve you this month. Um, what else do we need to know to attract love for single cancers? They're like just walking away from... Um, Old emotional ties, cutting our cords of attachment. If you haven't seen that video, there's a link to it in the description box below. But, you know, getting over exes and situations, no longer blaming ourselves, no longer blaming our ex-partner um, for our shitty experiences. Just saying, you know what, I cared about that a lot at the time, and maybe I still do care. But it's time for me to get excited. You, he's got a literal feather in his cap to go and find something new and better for me. And he's lit up by the moon, which takes up a big corner of this card, which means that you're going to instinctually or intuitively walk towards the right relationship for you. So good for you, Cancer. For Cancer couples, what's up? Oh, you know what I forgot to ask? is um, how are other people going to perceive the single cancer this month <laughs> um, as very confident but maybe not into them and that's because of those walls okay coupled cancers what's up it's decision making time so what are your options here in regards to your relationship <laughs> so <laughs> this is fun your options in regards to your relationship are to have frank and honest discussions about the finance, finances, about your stability, about your home, about your day-to-day -day routines, about your work, or to just not talk about that shit at all, but knowing that's not very wise when it comes to your relationship. So, should you choose 
to have these conversations with your partner. They say, yeah, it'll be a little dramatic for a little bit. Yeah, you might not be the one coming up with the bright new ideas on how to fix things, but you can still feel confident within the context of your relationship that it's not going anywhere. There is going to be a way out, but it's going to come from your partner. Um, if you choose not to talk about this with your partner, they're saying you'll still stay together, but you're get, you're just like emotionally fucking yourself because you're swallowing those feelings, okay? You're pushing them down into your subconscious and it's going to make you tired. It's going to make you lethargic. You're going to carry that shit from day to day um, until you do it. So really there is no choice. <laughs> um, I mean, there is no choice if you want to have a good quality of life in March anyway. You do have a choice. You always have a choice. But it's not recommended that you just... Uh, kind of pretend like it's not happening. They're saying, you know, uh, because what's going to happen if you don't have this discussion is you're going to start looking at your relationship negatively because you're going to feel negative to begin with. You're going to feel sad. Like I said, you're going to feel tired. You're going to feel lethargic and ultimately just a little bit cranky. So they're saying um, all of this stuff can come back under your control. Your luck is going to change for the better, but it does require you to listen to your partner this month and their ideas concerning your finances. So even if your finances are not um, something that are tied to your partner, maybe you just started dating, um, you're not married and you don't share money yet, they will have a good idea for you. So what they're saying is this is what puts you back in control. Make sure that you're open to, to listening to them at least. They're saying... Um, because here's the deal. You're going to be a little bit indecisive, okay? And so you've got to use your own intuition, but we've already established that your intuition is going to tell you not to hide this, not to um, avoid discussing it. And so um, this is definitely the best route for you. What's your advice aside from that? And they say, if you can get outside or um, on a treadmill and just walk to clear your mind, like a walking meditation gonna be amazing okay um what else do we need to know about your love life for coupled cancers they're like yeah <laughs> you're gonna have to make the decision to speak to them about your financial hiccups sorry about it i know it's uncomfortable in regards to your personal development or your emotional growth and your emotional experience in the month of March 2018, they're like, like we said, going to be a little bit pouty, a little bit sad, focused on the negative. But this is, again, a choice that you can make astrologically. I mean, it's not really your fault, you know. It's just like the perfect storm for you to feel sad and um, to kind of crawl into your, like, cancer hermit hole and dwell. Um and you haven't been there in a while, necessarily, so that's going to suck. But they're saying if you can focus on gratitude instead, you'll be much better off. You'll fare a lot better in the month of March, um, in, as opposed to if you don't. Because here's the deal. While he's all sad over the cups that spilled, He's still got two that have good stuff in it. Because cups represent love, you know. They represent these positive aspects. Five, five cards are always dramatic. But if he doesn't turn around and apply his focus to what still remains, to what is still beautiful, what, to what he still loves, what's going right, somebody's going to walk up behind him and tip those over too. So that's your decision, okay? So if you ever were like thinking, hey, I'm going to get a gratitude journal, but you never did it, this is your month. Um, as I'm saying that, we're at 13 minutes, 13 seconds into the video recording that I'm making for you. And 13 is kind of one of these numbers where it's like new things are happening for a reason, okay? Because one is about newness. Three is a divine number. It's karmic. Um, well, I guess karmic isn't the right word because when we're talking about karma, it implies if things feel uncomfortable that you did something bad. That's not what I'm saying. But it's part of your life journey. It's part of your soul contract, okay? This is divinely inspired. So you're making new, you're, you're starting down a new path that God, Allah, Spirit, angels, whatever, universe, energies, um, have created for you with intention that maybe you can't see, but it's leading to you to a place because one plus three is four to greater stability. Now we're having that doubled. Four plus four is eight, which makes 
abundance. So you will come out of this. Like I said, it's a temporary energy. However, it's going to be hard in the month of March. So good thing we pulled a crystal out of the month for you. I'll tell you all about it when we finish this section up. Um, what are your potential challenges? And they're like avoiding drama and the healing because we don't necessarily want to heal. Some of us are going to want to choose to sit in that sadness and not focus on, um, the gratitude and working towards making things better. You just might feel defeated. You might feel hopeless this month. That's the natural um, inclination based on astrology. However, you get to decide if you want to be that way or if you don't. Okay. Um, what is the lesson or the takeaway here? And they're saying you haven't, you're not learning acceptance, but you have to, especially in regards to being open to receiving things. Okay. I'm learning that I can't change some things and I just have to accept that. That's what this is about. Okay. But it's very intuitive. It's your third eye. It's, you know, a purple color here. So you've got to just understand that things that are not within your control, remember that and let it go. Don't drag that bullshit with you. Allow people to help you. Allow yourself to be open to receive. And then they're saying, use your intuition and your brains in order to solve the problems and to, that you're having this month and to get answers to your question. I really feel like the majority of you are going to have to watch that March What the Fuck Astrology video that I put in the March playlist. Um, just because this will make a lot of this energy make more sense to you. It's not your fault. It's nothing you did. It's just how the stars are aligning. Okay. And, um, what was that card? There was a point. Oh, to get answers to your questions is where I wanted to focus. So like I said, in the beginning of this video, we are naturally more intuitive this month. We are naturally going to be, um, oh cute, 1616. So it's about, um, starting new ways to find greater balance and then expanding our horizons in a spiritual way. So um, we need to expand our spirituality this month, our practices that will be in our best interest, but we're already going to be, especially as a water sign, naturally intuitive. We will know what to do with our gut instincts, but we have to decide to follow that guidance to get out of our head and into our, um, you know, third eye energy. <laughs> so your crystal of the month is chrysoscola, I think is how you pronounce it. I don't know, because I'm usually just typing it. But uh, what this crystal does is it helps you a lot with your emotional stability. It's going to bring you healing. It's going to give you uh, a greater awareness of how you're actually feeling and kind of, instead of kind of being in that... Uh, queen energy that we had where she's just dragging her emotions around, right? It's helping us to accept change. It's helping us to set new goals. It's helping us to balance out our energies, which is going to be really important this month. Um, it's helping us to get rid of feelings of guilt. Hell yeah, we need that with our inability to receive good things. It's helping us to harmonize groups and environments. It's a uh, if you have diabetes, this is a great stone too. It does lots of shit. And you can find out more about that um, on the internet, on my website, whatever. So if you want this specific one, I have it on uh, my website for you. It comes with uh, the, the Chris, how to use crystals playlist that Patreon subscribers get. Um, so you'll get that. Tons of information there. And then also uh, free shipping. Yay. If you're not subscribed to, um, I'm sorry, not subscribed, but if you're not following on like Facebook or if you don't get my emails, um, you wouldn't also have the coupon code. I just put one out today. Um, so if you want to find that, I would go look for it on Facebook. Other than that, love and light. I'm wishing you the best month possible. I hope that you can navigate these energies with ease. Um, yeah. See you soon for love readings. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video 
uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!